Okay, uh, welcome to another video uh, in this series, Data Science with Julia. So, like, now what we are going to do is, like, we are going to look about, like, how to use this entropy on some data sets. So, first we are going to take this titanic data sets, set as data set and use entropy and see what we are doing, right? So, like, yeah. So, what we are doing is like, okay, we are just filtering this thing, like uh, this titanic data set. Okay, so let me just put something and tell you like how we are filtering. So, it's called diagram, okay, drop. Okay, so, this is the app I just use to put some diagrams. And... Okay, so, uh, you, okay, yeah, there is this diagram. So you have this raw titanic data set. So raw titanic. Okay. So, so what we are doing is like okay, we are, we are just forking it off. Okay, let me just put this arrow. So so like we are first mm, forking it off. Okay, let me just make this bigger a bit. Is it possible to do that? Uh, I'm not sure. Okay, 125% of yeah. So we're just forking it a bit, and what we are just doing is like taking all those things that are what to say. Uh, we are just dropping the missing values. Okay, so okay, so and then we are just okay. So we are just doing something like okay, non-missing things only we are taking okay there will be a lot of missing values in data set in real time there will be a lot of missing values so we are just taking only non missing things uh, so so that we can work with it easily okay but one thing what i found out is like okay like that's what we are just doing over here so non missing is drop missing and all those things but the thing is like this thing is like uh, 800 uh, data points or 800 rows but this one is only like 180 or something so we are losing a lot that's not actually a very good thing but the thing is yeah uh, for learning okay that's okay i just think okay and then what i'm just doing is like if age is greater than 18 like okay like uh, if age is greater than 18 right uh, okay right come on i uh, this is like this okay so let me just put a text so here so age greater than 18 means i'm just putting it as okay uh this is the adults data set okay so like these are all grown-ups right and otherwise like it is okay it should be actually greater than or equal to 18 so even uh 18 i'm just considering it as uh, okay like otherwise what i'm just doing is like uh, okay and is there a way to <laughs> otherwise yeah what i'm just doing this making this as children okay so this will be children okay okay so this is how i'm just splitting okay uh, let me just put like otherwise okay so otherwise okay so that's how it is so and then uh, okay yeah uh, if you see the code that's how it is okay filter adults and just i'm just taking this over here right as age should be greater than or equal to 18 and like okay children is nothing but not of filter adults and i'm just getting the data right so that's the thing right and yes that's how it is and over here like what i'm just doing is like i'm separating it as male and female right so like uh, I'm just taking this, putting this as okay. Like, meal, okay, right. This one is once again, this is otherwise. Okay. So let me just make this shorter so it looks good. Right. Okay. So, like, okay, otherwise. okay so um that's how i'm just filtering okay so name and then 
over here what i'm just doing is like putting it as female right so that's how it is like uh, so this is how i'm just splitting this thing right for each and everything and finally i'm just uh, doing the entropy so so this is the diagram like what i'm just doing so for each and everything i'm just doing the entropy okay so and i'm just seeing how it is and i'm just analyzing it so that that's how it is so yeah this is filter main okay so where the sex is main so i'm just filtering it from this one adults okay so and otherwise it becomes female okay so that's how it is and i don't know why i'm unable to move properly right okay yeah. right so that's how it is and uh if you look uh what i'm just doing like okay like uh decision tree okay we just look at it in wikipedia or something like that yeah decision tree yeah if you look yeah like you just have something like this and i don't know why it's not becoming bigger like okay right let me see if there's some other diagram right yeah so if you look it is forming some kind of tree like it's been shown over here yeah here the diagram is done more neat and all those stuff so this is actually called as decision tree okay so now let me just look at some kind of uh, what to say decision tree okay right decision tree images so so you you have it uh this thing like okay like decision tree yes no and all those stuff so similarly over here we are just doing very similar stuff and we are expressing that in code over here so that's the thing so uh, if you visualize things it will become far more easier for you so to understand so that's how we are just doing and yeah we are just getting all those things men children and all those things okay so now let's look at whether entropy will work on this numerical arrays or something looks like it's working like if i just give everything one it's giving zero and if i give everything zero it's becoming okay one and zeros it's becoming something so it says that it's more messed up right so that's the thing and uh, so what we can do now is like we can uh what to say tell uh we can see what is the entropy of each and every split okay so that's the thing so that's what we are going to do now okay so so now we are just getting the survived of uh, non-missing okay so and then we are just doing the entropy it says it's still dirty look 0.91 is still high it's still dirty okay right and yeah so this is still dirty right okay so let me mark it as uh okay like what color like let me mark it in some color where okay, something like gray okay still dirt still dirty or something like that right what was nice uh fresh or something like that i'll mark it as green or something like that, okay and men survived okay men survived it says nine five it's still dirtier so okay and i didn't do it for adults but yeah so the men survived this once again still nine five okay so let me just put like this okay and women survived is only 0.29 okay that is okay so let me just put it like okay green like okay like uh, a, a green stuff saying that okay like this is far better or something like that look uh, look only 0 0.29 or 0 0.3 uh, 0.3 at the most right so it is okay like i just feel children is mm, yeah it's either okay not okay let me put this as yellow or orange or something like that right so that's how it is okay so so just we just wrote just one function entropy and look we are just doing and all those things and uh, another thing what i just noticed this okay after doing the non-missing thing and uh, i just saw what is this data frame of men and i just even took the uh, p class that is the passenger class okay and looks like a lot of data in second class or third class is missing look you you can see there's no third class at all there's only very few second class and lots of first class so only uh complete information about the first class people are available about the second class it's not available so this kind of just dropping everything missing and doing is not 100 percent right so we have done something okay some progress has been done okay so but the thing is uh, look uh, this is not correct okay so there are 87 rows in df men okay and uh, in df men first class it's 80 rows so we are having only seven rows of second class and third class so that is kind of okay look 
not correct okay so and let me see even if we split by first class the entropy is not uh what to say uh to say so good enough okay it's 0.96 and uh, what to say it is still entropy of men is what like uh 0.95 in fact like if we put, split it like first class in fact it's getting more dirtier okay so we can't split like that but for women it looks like okay the split is okay so uh like right now uh the way we clean is not good like just dropping everything and doing that thing is not good uh we need to do something better okay so that's what it says okay for female it might be good the way we split for children it might be good but the thing is over here we are missing a lot of data okay that is like uh like if we drop all columns like that has some missing like if, even if it has one missing thing we are just dropping it so that should not be done we should do some more refining and to do it okay so you might think look come on like what we just did all this work build this library and almost nothing happened and uh, what to say we are only say able to say that okay the entropy of women is okay and and uh, if we what we can do is like we have this library right uh, right like uh, ml let let us go and look at that by ml okay ml lib is there so we'll have something like highest count or something okay highest vote count okay so highest votes okay so now what we'll do is like okay uh df uh okay where is this women okay. uh df men df women okay df women okay women okay so uh, women uh df women dot okay i think i need to do something like okay like i just need to restart the kernel and run all because i'm just opening this i haven't done anything so so no so all these things won't be there like this data frames won't be there and all those things if i try to put some code and uh, okay restart kernel and run also okay is it restarting i'm not sure yeah it's restarting yeah. okay it's running 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 come on it shouldn't take so long okay it's crossing the seas with that okay we just got this okay so if you just put like okay uh women survived okay survived okay so we go to df yeah women dot survived okay we are getting something and okay we just got this and we just put like okay counter women survived okay one is 73 and zero is four so then women did survive okay so and highest vote okay like women survived uh why i'm not getting this i'm not getting i'm not sure why i'm not getting this okay 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 did i pass this one press okay yeah so then it's one okay so that's the thing right so uh, what to say like then it means that women did survive and all those things and that's the thing so and if i do this for men survived and all those things and uh, it's going to be uh okay like first class survive okay so first class survive let me do the counter counter right we have men dot first class survive look it's it's all look you, it's very impure right like look over here survived is 73 and not survived is 4 over here survived is 31 and not survived is 49 okay 
it it means like okay, not seven is highest, but look, still forty nine thirty one compared to four and seventy three, it's not neck. Yet. We would say it's still neck and neck, so we can't take any good decision on that. So po possibly these and all needs further split. That is like those things that have been put gray or sure. So these these all needs further split. So that's the thing. So uh okay so so actually yeah this needs for the split and uh we need to see like uh which will give more pure and all those things so that's the thing children is kind of okay look uh children is kind of okay uh, so like we have uh, children right Look, children is kind of okay, 17, 2, okay, it's kind of okay, but look at the count, like, okay, like, uh, DF children, okay, like, if I just put size, only 19, okay, look, 19 is, it's, it's less, but we can say, okay, children did survive, like, but whatever we got, but the thing is 19 is less and entropy is like 0.45 or something like that, far higher than women. So that's how it is. So actually, this is how decision tree works. Like we have seen how decision tree works in very, very manual format. Then we need to write, switch it into programs to make this automated. Then we should say like, okay, if it's below this entropy, don't break the tree anymore. If it's uh, not below that entropy, then break it. Okay, so if the entropy is high, break it. If the entropy is low, don't break it. So that's how decision tree actually works. Okay, so uh, so yeah, that's how it is. So we have seen like applying entropy on Titanic, and uh, we have seen uh, what to say like how to build some kind of decision tree from scratch with our uh, with our manual stuff. Let's try to automate it. But before that, yeah, I'll also like to go into this thing like. Uh, iris data set analysis in the next video and all those things like uh, iris analysis and all those stuff right so that's the thing uh, my blog is lagging behind i'm sorry about that if you're a person who reads rather than does videos doing videos seems to be easier so that's the thing but yeah keep following this uh playlist and channel so that like you'll get updates and all those things anyway happy learning data science with me um i hope you felt this video was good Bye.